Hello, welcome back to Rivo Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to install SideQuest. So SideQuest is like a little app store for the Quest 1 and Quest 2. It's got loads of different apps that you can't get on the official Oculus store. So these will be our apps that have been rejected from the store, haven't been put forward towards the store yet. And there's just a load of apps on there that are really good that you can't get from the official store. So there's games like Hyper Dash, which is a really good fast paced shooter. You've got Pokemon VR, which is amazing if you love Pokemon like me. And then there's tons of other great apps and games. Most of the time they're free as well. So because the Oculus Store is a created store, they handpick what goes on that store. So it's good because you always get great content from the store, but also bad because a lot of really good games miss out on it if Oculus don't like them. So just to let you know, side loading apps is completely safe. Uh, SideQuest themselves actually check everything that goes onto their store to make sure it is safe for you to use, not get any viruses in or anything like that. Nothing that can do any harm to your Quest. Just before we start, I'm getting even closer to 1,000 subscribers now. So it'd be really appreciated if you could click that subscribe button down there, leave a like on the video, and drop a comment, say, what's your favourite SideQuest app or game? Let's get into it. Right, so what are you going to need? You're going to need either a Windows PC, a Mac, or a Linux machine. You're going to need a way to connect your PC to the Quest. So if your PC's got a USB-C port, you'll be able to use the cable that come with the Quest. If not, you can use a USB-A to USB-C cable. Probably comes with your phone if you've got an Android phone. Uh, you're going to need a mobile phone with the Oculus app installed. And finally, just make sure that phone with the app installed and your Quest are on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's get started. First step is to create a developer account. So if you come to this link, it'll be in the description for you. If you log in with your Facebook account, there's a link to your quest. That's mine. So in this organization name, you can type anything you want. So we'll put Robotech, tick and stand and submit. Agree, submit. And that's that bit done. Second step is to download the Oculus ABD drivers. If you're on Linux or Mac, you don't need to do this. You can just skip this step, go straight to step three. If you're on PC, tick this box, click download. It will download at the bottom if you're using Chrome. You can open it up using either WinRAR or 7-Zip. If you just put it to the desktop for now, so you can drag it out and drop it and close that. That's come down here for me. I'll double click it. Get the pop up window. USB driver. Double click that. And this Android Win USB. Right click on that and click install. If a pop up comes up, click yes. Operation completed successfully. So that bit's done. And close that. So if you just reboot your PC now and then come straight back to the video, I'll be waiting. So when you're on your phone, if you go to the Oculus app, go to settings on the bottom right, make sure your Quest is powered on and on the same network. So it'll say connected, and come up with the battery, tap on more settings, and then developer mode. Make sure that's turned on and go back from that. Then you can connect your Quest to the PC. If it's the first time connecting to the PC, you will get a pop up saying allow uh, USB debugging. If it's your own computer, go ahead and tick the always allow. So put the headset on, tick always allow and agree. Uh, so now we just need to download SideQuest. So if you open up your browser again, link will be in the description again. Obviously, depending on what machine you're using, Windows, Mac, or Linux, I'm on Windows, I'll download this one. Now I'll download at the bottom here. As soon as it's downloaded, you can click to open it, click run. Like this. Uh, so you might as well install it for anyone that uses a computer. Pop up comes up, click yes. 
Install it wherever you want. You can click browse and pick somewhere else, but I'm just going to install it to C drive. Install. And then completely install in. And then you can, if you want it to run straight away, which you probably do, leave that six, click finish. Side quest to open up. And the top right here, if your quest connected and everything's all good, you'll get a green dot. So that's how you know you're good to go. So then once you're in side quest, you've got tons and tons of apps. So physics playground's good, crisis VR. There's just tons of stuff that's not on the actual Oculus store. I'm gonna try out this Let's Go Shopping. I've seen a little video for it on Reddit, I think it was. So to install something, you can either click on it, and then just click Install to Headset, or you can go back at the top here. And if you know you 100% want it, you can just click that little install icon. Then you get a pop-up saying installing at the bottom as well. If you want to, if you queue quite a few things, you can click this little box up here, and it tells you exactly what's happening. So if it says install an APK, do not unplug your headset because it will fail. So that's installed. So it's green APK file installed. Okay. And then this little icon up here is white. So you're all good to unplug. If you want to close it first, so it'll give you a uh, little note saying that it'll cancel any running tasks, which is fine. So exit side quest. Then you can unplug your headset from your PC. Test out all your new games. Right, so now you're on the quest. Go apps. Click where it says all up here. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you've got unknown sources. And that's all your new games that you've installed. Uh, I use this quest app launcher from SideQuest as well. So if you go on that, it displays all of your apps. You don't have to have it, it just looks a bit nicer. As you can see, it's got all, like, that is off side quest. That's obviously a normal quest game. So we've just installed this. Let's go chopping. So I'll give that a quick go. Just to see if everything works perfectly. As you can see, these aren't, like, rubbish games. They're just games that might not be quite good enough to make it to the full Oculus store. They might have been rejected, or it might just be demos like this one. Grab the shopping list in front of you. Oh, is that one of my items? Tape, not toilet roll. <laughs> Put it in the basket. One, two. There's the next one. You must place all items on the list in the cart, then move the cart to the designated drop-off area. Oh, got a zombie. Ugh. Ugh. Always back up. Yeah. This one's got glasses growing out of his head. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in the shopping cart. Oh, I missed it. Done. Go, 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 go. Oh, a pistol. That's pretty cool. Zombie kill of the week. All right, let's go shopping mode. Oh, it's like a full store. There we go. Here's our gun. Wait, four cans, two bottles. All right, let's go and get the stuff we need. All right, two water bottles. Oh, no. Where's me back? I thought I had a bat. Ah! Double tap. And flip. Yeah, I missed. Bye. Alright, so that was just a little demo of one of the games that you can get on here. So you now know how to sideload apps onto your Quest and you've got access to a massive store full of hundreds of apps and games for free pretty much. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate a subscription because I've got videos on VR accessories like the AMVR facial interface, uh, third party head straps, AMVR earmuffs. I've got loads of videos on VR. So if you want more content, smash that subscribe button. As I said at the start of the video, I'm nearly on 1,000 subscribers. It'd be amazing if you could subscribe and I hope this video helps you out. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.